Now that we have the uh, three corrective shapes uh, created for the uh, jawbone when it rotates, uh, let's go and create uh, a new um, interface item uh, for, for driving the jawbone. And we'll use the uh, script that I wrote earlier and discussed. I've updated a little bit with uh, uh, text uh, input and whatnot. Uh, if I evaluate this, uh, just open my listener first and evaluate it, we'll have the facial control uh, function available and we could either type it in uh, in the bottom down here or we could type it into the uh, max script listener I'm just gonna run that line and that'll make us a control but unfortunately because I had this layer currently active it's made it on that layer and it's uh, been added into it and it was hidden so it automatically hit it so I'll just unhide it what I'm gonna do now is just make a new layer create a new layer from, from selection and I want to rename this uh, Ogre facial controls, and we've got all that now. I can now uh, hide the rig off if I like, and move our new control up to where I'm going to want to use it. Now, it really depends on um, what sort of values you want to use. Currently, right now, the uh, the the value of the uh, control object will be going from uh, essentially uh, 0 to 5 to negative 5, uh, positive 5 on the x and y axes. Uh, we can make that much smaller to start with if we wanted. And we could, uh, you know, scale it up um, after the fact so it went from 1 to 1. It really doesn't matter. Um, so in this case, uh, at this point, I'm going to leave it at what it was so that it was, you know, goes to 5. The reason it really doesn't matter, often that's sort of sort of thing that I would, I'd worry about reason this isn't going to matter so much, we're going to drive it with Reaction Manager, and it's a real sort of tactile uh, control object. It's not something uh, that uh, the animator is going to care much that it goes from uh, 0 to 5 and back down again. Um, they're just going to look at function curves for just ease in and, and uh, fast ins and outs, uh, and not really what its specific value is. So it's, it's never going to travel, travel above 0 to 5. So I'll just leave it that way. Our control object, because it's a text object, we can go in and add whatever we want uh, in here. So what I'll call this is, um, uh, is jaw. And I added an, uh, a mesh select on top of the stack, so it actually comes up as uh, um, filled in. You could also do it with uh, an extrude modifier. In this case, it makes it all one-sided, um, because it's not actually giving it uh, any sort of thickness. And it kind of keeps the uh, face count even down lower, so instead of using extrude, which would actually give it uh, thickness, you know, front and back and, and side. So we're not getting that. It depends whether you want that or not. This control item uh, will eventually be uh, parented into the head joint so that it follows around. Now what we can do as well to make this uh, work a little bit nicer is um, go and grab another uh, uh, shape object, another rectangle. And what we'll do is we'll build everything inside of this rectangle um, so that uh, we've got uh, kind of a cool UI scheme going. And just to make sure everything uh, follows it around, I'm going to parent everything out to this. So this is the top of it, and then it selects everything down the chain. It's kind of nice now. What it'll, the idea being is, is that you'll be able to move your uh, face UI to wherever you want. Uh, we just need to parent this to the jaw bone and the head now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just show you that. And what we'll do is we'll uh, there we go. Parent it down there, and now we've got uh, the ability that when we rotate the head. the uh, face controls will move with it. So we'll be able to uh, size this to what size we want, because it really won't matter if this is scaled, but we can scale this down to however large we want, which is, again is kind of nice, because we could actually put a control on it for actually resizing the whole UI, so we could keep it really small, or if an animator wanted it larger and had a hard time getting a hold of it, you could easily scale the whole thing up and down, and all the controls will go with it. Because we're scaling it, this will still go from 0 to 5, as opposed to actually using the uh, length and width parameters that are uh, now set at 10 to 10. So 